Yes, let's go. We're back, everybody. How's everyone doing? Hopefully, everybody's doing well. You know, in fact, I don't like this shirt, actually. I got a new shirt. I have another red shirt. It's, it looks it looks very similar to the one yesterday. Uh, I actually don't really like it that much. It kind of hurts, so I'm gonna go, I'll be right back. Give me, like, a minute. I'll change out my shirt, because I don't like this one. One second. <laughs> the only fans. What the? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. What the heck, guys? No, this is not only fans. This is Twitch, which is basically which which can be only fans. You just gotta look for the right streamers. Um, no, I'm not doing that. Wrong link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong cat. Wrong, wrong, wrong streamer. Uh, go find someone else. Go. I don't know. Go like an. Go do like Amaroth or something. I don't care. I don't know what the heck they do. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Here, I have a button actually that I have to do up because there. Hopefully everyone's doing well. It's nice, nice, to, nice to be back on stream. Hopefully everyone's having an amazing evening. We got so many matches for you tonight. I know you guys have already seen the schedule, but we're going to take one look at it right now before our first match of the evening. We're going to be seeing some tier 4 action with the Tunnel Empire and Letdowns playing a 2v2. We'll then have Zero Gravity return back because they've been on the stream before. And Commitment Issues, all who have returned to the stream ever, uh, since first playing in week 1 against the Fortnite players. And we'll end off with tier 3 with the full boost... And Bandini Boys squads. But first, we go to tier 4, Eternal Empire Letdowns. Ooh, chat. Okay, giant chat just disappeared. There you go. Took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Sorry, brother. This is not only fans. Although, again, you you might be able to find some if you if you look hard enough. Um, yes, here comes the info. And I'm going to make the prediction poll while you guys take a look at this head-to-head -head between Tunnel Empire and the letdowns of Tunnel Empire. I believe they're the second seed in their division. In fact, you know what? Let's take a look at who is the second seed. Here it is. Here is the bracket. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13-team bracket. And in fact, Eternal Empire is actually the fourth seed. They are not the second seed. The second seed is two-man job. I forgot about two-man job. They played Eternal Empire earlier this season as well. So I really don't know how I thought that. But Eternal Empire is the fourth seed. Letdowns are the number 13. And this is the round of 16, as, everybody, as, as we're going to call it. Even though technically it's the round of 13, actually. Uh, or round one. Actually, it's a really good one. But again, it's a, an important playoff match. Again... You lose here, you're out in the first round. No one wants to be first rounded in a playoff. As what's the records? You always ask this end, and I always deliver the records to you. Uh, again, if you guys want to know the records before you get on stream, make sure to check out my Twitter, SweetFCRL. Like and obviously hasn't done. As we are gonna, as the Tunnel Empire are currently four and two, letdowns are one and five. And. It's been a, it's been an interesting season for both these teams. It, it definitely is. Again, Tunnel Empire. Just barely missing the cutoff to make it to the, uh, to make it to that uh, top three where they could have been guaranteed a first round buy. But maybe for a lot of teams they don't like those first round buys because it means that they have a week where they do nothing. A lot of teams mu would much rather play each other in the first round. As I mean, you can't blame them as these teams have played before. We've seen that a lot in the stream where a lot of teams have played each other. The Empire swept a letdowns the last time we saw them play. Both teams have also played. We are washed as well. And crossbar for days. Eternal Empire beat crossbar for days and lost for We Are Washed since nobody could beat We Are Washed. And Letdowns had a forfeit win at a forfeit win against crossbar for days. So not a great comparison, but they did get swept by We Are Washed. Again, everybody lost to We Are Washed this uh this season, so it's it's understandable. As we've been alerted to the fact that there may be an error with the uh, actual uh, <laughs> actual lobby. 
Apparently it's SAM servers. It is SAM servers. There you go. One click away from the US East. There you go. So we're going to get everybody back in. Make sure to predict your channel points on who you think will win this one. Now, a lot of people, you're probably going to go with the Tunnel Empire, since they just have that much better record than they beat. Letdowns the last time these two teams played, and that was a couple weeks ago. But the thing about it that is that you guys should know, last two te teams, the last two matches we've had, the underdog team, who has lost before to the team that they played against, won this time. Last time we saw, it was the first match was Strikers Chaos Crimson and Meteorites. Meteorites lost to Crimson last time in Week 6. But then they won against Crimson 3-1. And then we saw t uh, Title 1 Emily as they played and then took and then usurped Team Thanatos. So you cannot underestimate anybody here because so far every single match has actually ended in an upset, which is not uncommon. Playoffs bring out completely new teams and completely new playstyles, rosters, nerves, everything. And it, it comes to this pinnacle in the season. Pinnacle of a season in the final four weeks of gameplay. Or less, depending on if you have a bye. But for these, for these two teams, they'll have to play all four weeks. They'll have to win four times in a row if they want to take the championship. Tundra's Empire, Tundra's Empire is the favorite. But again, that means nothing in the playoffs when, so far, the favorites have not been able to win. As I do see some of you getting, in, getting your votes in there, that's great to see. And I'll be honest, that whole SAM server thing, that's happened to me before. I have no clue why it happens, but whenever I go out of the game with, and I make a lobby, not like out of the game. Uh, well, what I was saying was, anyways, if when, they, when I make a server, well, I don't know why, but it always changes to like, Asia. It's, it's always used to like a very weird random server. No clue why it does that, but I think it's because I leave and then rejoin the game, and then it just changes the server for whatever reason. But anyways, not going to focus too much on it. Just like you wouldn't focus on it too much anyways. I'm just talking about it because I'm talking to myself and... Again, it's only the first of two 2v2 matches tonight. The night is a relaxing night. It has only has three matches. But all, for all these teams, these matches are the only match they'll be playing in the week. It's the best of five. You have to win three games and anything can happen. And so, Rado Labs, yeah, we'll be seeing you play, play, playing later tonight for Zero Gravity in the second match at 9 p.m. Eastern. Welcome. As the votes are now all in. Again. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Rox is, Rox Ellis is now going after Terran. Oh no, we might have a war here in chat. Lucky enough for me, I don't have to vote for anyone, and I don't have to tell you who, who I think will win, because I don't care. Also, because I just want good Rocket League. I don't care who wins. Sam would expect me to vote against him. It's okay. Man, you are like... You, you sound exactly like how I would sound like if I was playing ones. I am so unbelievably... This is still Sam. Shouldn't be Sam. So we are having server issues. That's interesting. Get to see the game here. I'm going to go back to this. Heads ahead. As again, we're having some weird server issues here. Ghost ones. <laughs> Come on, man. I've won a 1v1 circuit. Ones is a great playlist. It's, it's one of the best playlists to go and learn from. Also, Ones is actually... Is a, also, Ones is an interesting playlist to cast. Because Ones, generally speaking, is kind of more chill. And there's a lot more color with it. I know you guys are probably not the best at when it comes to, like, commentary languages. You guys know what color commentary is, hopefully. Right? <laughs> this muffler's too small. 
Okay, we shouldn't be starting any moment now. We're a little behind, but lucky enough for us, it's not going to be as bad as like the days after, because days after we're going to have uh, matches that are only going to be like 30 minutes separated in, at some point, so it's going to be a little weird. Uh, wait, are they in the lobby with me? I don't... We are having some issues. Oh my goodness, this is already a mess. It's only the first match of the day. What happened? I'm supposed to be good at this. Get some tissues. Okay. You guys are right over there? Yeah, we're, again, we're trying to make sure everybody gets in, but I may have just messed up these lobbies. Hopefully, um... Hopefully we can actually get both teams actually in. Because I'm not there. I, I think they are in a separate lobby. Meaning that, meaning that now that they could be playing without me, um, <laughs> where they're both collectively deciding that this guy's an idiot and that they shouldn't even go on his stream. Which, to be fair, can't blame him. Um, Yeah, I should not have done that. Oh. Well, now he waits. Hopefully they're not playing without us. <laughs> Hopefully they're not playing without us. That would be really bad if they were. Um... Your, your opponents are Rumble SSLs. I've played against them. I've, I've played against Scoy and Chocolizer in a tournament, my man. I beat him too, actually. Uh, real story. <laughs> I beat him in the first round of a of like an Arnold, of like a 3v3 tournament. Destroyed them on a team of randoms. That was fun. It was actually a lot of fun. They're chill, they're chill people. But the thing is, I don't see anybody... And I feel like that, that, sadly for them, this first game may not actually matter. <laughs> it may just be a warm-up game, because they're not here, and I don't know what's happening over there. Well, if there's any bad way that this could have started, this is probably one of the worst. Because <laughs> now I'm sitting here, and... Who isn't there? Uh, both of the teams, they're not in the lobby. <laughs> and I think they might be playing without me. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. Is that they're both playing a game without me. Somehow, I've, I, I accidentally created a different lobby. And so I joined a separate lobby. And so they're in a different lobby. What do you mean I'm watching them play right now? The question is... Can we start worse? Uh, probably, man, but that's pretty difficult to do. Uh, because I've never done this before. I've never done this, I mean, like, I've never accidentally had it where the match started, uh, on, and I can't actually get to see it. I've had it where the match started when I wasn't actually, uh, ready. I've never had it where the match starts, and I'm not there. 
So, now we're waiting to see if anything happens and we might be starting the stream very late. Scratchy shirt is pretty tired at the top. Yeah, I did have a really... Yeah, that shirt I had was scratchy. It was not a good shirt to use. It's old. And, and the sad thing is, I have a lot of shirts that look like that, so... That's probably how I got that shirt on, uh, specifically. Because all I have a lot of shirts that look like that. I excited to watch. No, 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 we'll get to see them. I don't think they've just abandoned me. But I do think... <laughs> I do think we're having we're having some fun issues here. Meaning now that we have to wait for them. <laughs> uh, how does this... How do I how I always find a way to do this? So now we're gonna wait for them. <laughs> At least it's a good story, guys. <laughs> At least it was nice knowing all you guys. Uh, yeah, hello, dropping woes. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe the situation we're in. <laughs> so we're currently waiting for the two. Uh, I think the both both the other play teams are in a separate lobby. Five out of seven, perfect stream. Yeah, perfect, absolutely perfect in my streams. Perfectly imperfect. Um, yeah, I think they're in a separate lobby and they're playing the series and they're starting the series without me even in the same lobby. What I'd have to do is I would have to let's see if I can actually join their lobby. Because if I can leave this and see if I can join theirs, maybe we can catch the end of it. Are they just waiting? They are playing! Oh! There we go! I found them! Ha! Huh. And yeah, it is a Sam server for whatever reason. So they must not have joined the USD one that I made. Interesting. Um, so now they're gonna look on Discord. <laughs> now they're gonna look on Discord and go... Whoops. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell them to leave. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell them to leave, and we will probably just, we, we might get a, we might get a, surf, we might get a, I don't know what the situation is gonna be here, uh, cause I, I don't, there's nothing in the rules that state anything about this. I think I just, it's on me. So now we're going to reset the server, make it actually US East, because what I think happened is they joined the SAM server, and then when they rejoined, they rejoined the SAM server. That must be what happened. There's no way... Oh, because I, I definitely didn't make a second SAM server. That's probably the most embarrassing thing I've done on the stream in a while. I very rarely does this. Do I ever have I ever? I've never done that before. We are going to see what uh, Eternal Empire says about this. What? Uh, how did one of the players... Uh, I'm going to have to tell them now to re reset. And I'm going to just tell them to wait it out the server. Uh Gosh. <laughs> Man, this is like the this is the absolutely most scuffed series I've had on stream for a while. Letdowns just accidentally joined the game and made it start without Eternal Empire actually in. So we're still waiting on Eternal Empire's final statement. And they're saying that we're gonna just reset the whole series. Eternal Empire they did win technically that that, that uh, game, but they want us to restart the whole entire series. So we're gonna do that.
Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this page so you don't see the info info for the server. Uh, to anybody watching, I'm so incredibly sorry for this. This is not meant. To, this is not how my my most series go on the stream. Um, This is the most. Uh, if anybody were to, ah, uh, goodness. Hopefully, we don't actually get too late from this. This is a probably the longest break we've ever had from the actual start of the series. This is quality I expected. <laughs> um, nice man. Uh. Make sure everybody's in the lobby, and then I'm gonna tell. And then I'm gonna tell one of the teams that they can start. Guys, this is again. This is embarrassing. I'm really, really sorry about this, guys. Trust me, it's it's actually all on me as well. That's the that's the funny part about this. There's no one else I can blame except myself. I created this mess in the first place. Turns out this eight this eight, eight p.m. match is now an eight fifteen p.m. match. It's okay. We'll get it started. Don't worry. And hopefully it will uh, go by relatively quickly. So here we go. We're gonna now join the server that I made beforehand. So they really like. They apparently they really want it. So. And now we'll join the game. So this is not game one. Is we gonna let the time run out? Again, no. This is not a current match. This is actually a. Uh, we're just chilling around here. We're making sure we're letting the time end since they both really want this uh, lobby. So we're waiting on it. Let the time end. There's, there's everybody. Everybody's just ch chilling around. It's gonna be Ice Demon and Kale Star versus. Oh goodness. <laughs> Honestly, whole thing is just an absolute mess now. Versus Poner and, and for the win, Mike. This is not actually game one. Game one is just about to start. I've instructed until Empire to just join when ready. Here we go. Everybody ready now? Please tell me that, like, we have no more issues this stream. 
literally 30 minutes of my life. Here, you guys have been waiting for a long time, so let's get it going. Um, we're just waiting on Pona to be ready. There he is. It's gonna be Pona and Mike. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna Empire in the blue. Letdowns in the orange. I jinxed it. I hope I didn't. I would love to have no more issues. Um... It's a best of five here. We're starting with game one. Finally, it took us 18 minutes after the schedule start time to get us going, but now we're ready. Eternal Empire. Again, with the fourth seed, the one just barely missing out of the top three that secured a pass into the next round. As this, as this division only had 13 teams remaining instead of the usual 16 that you need for a playoff bracket. And that gave the top three teams the bye. The Empire just barely missing it out. But to keep it close, it was a win over Letdowns earlier in the season. A sweep, actually. And now they play Letdowns again in the playoffs to see if they can get to the top eight. Owner. Infield has to get through Ice Demon. Again, tier, this is a tier four match. In case anybody is wondering the skill level of these teams, that is Simon 2, Diamond 3. And cleared away by Ice Demon. With Mike can't catch up, and this little empire trying to create opportunities for themselves. Really, this looks like they're trying to throw everything at the wall and see what works. It's been a while since they played letdowns. Letdowns have definitely changed their playstyle since then. Letdowns are in a very interesting situation. In the theoretical, in the theoretical possibility that they win the whole thing, they would actually ha end up with a record of five and five. Probably the first time I've ever seen a team win the whole championship without a winning record. Very hard for a team to win the losing record. Actually, you'd have to lose all six and then win four in a row. That would include the first seed, most likely, or the second seed. Actually, it's possible that that happens, but that's not what we're focusing on here. We're focusing on this series. And not the what could happen, but the what is happening. As Letdowns now trying to get some opportunities. It's Mike. He's going to leave it in field. Killstar to get rid of this one. And now Poner. 57 infield. Killstar reading this. But Ice Demon jumps in there as well. Ice Demon. Not a lot of faith on his teammate. Should be. At this, at this point in their playoff career, you should not be nervous. Uh, so you should not be you should not be untrustworthy with your teammate. You should definitely trust them in anything they do. And they should as well with you, but nerves definitely a possibility here. Again, we saw Crimson. They lost the meteorites. I asked them about uh, I asked them at the end of the series uh, if nerves were really a factor, and they said most definitely. And nerves definitely could be impacting these teams' performances. Killstar will score first. As that shot is going to be over Mike and a goal to start off the playoff run for the Eternal Empire team. This is a tier 4 bracket, Terran. This is Diamond 2, Diamond 3, and 2s. Going back Hillstar to get rid of it. Don't worry by Mike. And Eternal Empire off to a good lead, but they would need to keep, they need to hold this. Playoff games can, uh, a lot of times playoff games are a lot less, actually generally playoff games are a lot less sc high scoring than regular games because mo so many teams are not willing to take as many risks as they usually do. I can attest to that playing in the 1v1 circuit. Or even in the 2v2 circuit where I won both times actually I went into the playoffs. There are not so many goals, I didn't take as many chances because, especially in, in, in ones, I just tried to play, I wasn't as confident, I was, I, in, in ones at the earlier part of the season, a lot, I was known to kind of go for a good amount of solo plays. They didn't ever really work out, but I went for them because why not? It's, the, it's not even the playoffs, but... And the same thing could be said for twos. The twos, a lot less solo plays, a lot more focus on being able to catch the other team on mistakes. Uh, a strategy that can work, but you need to be able to bring your own offense. As that one, Killstar, doesn't need to bring any offense here. It seems like he is going to catch letdowns on in an error that, might, must I say, a bit of a funny one, Mike... Bump boots opponent out of the way and also inherently I inherently boots himself out of the play to give Eternal Empire a two goal lead now in game one. As was, although nobody's really going to focus on the game that happened before, it was on Sam servers. Eternal Empire won that one as well, 4 1. It will not count as game one, though. They wanted us to reset the whole entire thing. 
have it all on stream, so... And also USD servers, so they're pretty happy with that. They said it's okay to reset. And here they are. This is their performance now against letdowns. Again, the last time these two played, it was a sweep, but things are probably going to change. It's A lot of times, things will change because playoffs, whole new, pre new pressure, whole new ball game. Those once are super aggressive teams can crumble. As a total empire skill star, he ceiling shots it through. Oh, brings it up the sidewall. Using enough boost to get up there, and then he boosts down, catches up with it, and the and enough power to get over Mike's challenge. Killstar averaging over two goals a game in the regular season. Coming into the playoffs, I believe that may have made it two this game. Maybe even three, I'd have to check. Let's see. That makes it three. He's already doing better than his average. And this is the first playoff game. No Empire. And Killstar really is trying to better himself in the playoffs. And again, crazy enough, I asked about I asked this Eternal Empire team before the series. Anything interesting I should know about them, and they both said they are and, and uh, I even said they're both rookies in the Indie Gaming League. Your first season in and you come to the playoffs. The again, the end of the season. The must win. The uh, nerve wracking ending. And they're trying to go all the way to the end, to the top point, to the to the finals, and give their organization, Eternal Empire, a victory. Well, this is a great start. They have to start in round one. And this is a start for them that they're gonna like. Taking out the letdowns 3-0. Killstar once again is the lead is the leader on their offense. As they've doubled the shots of letdown. Killstar and that ceiling shot. A little bit of flare to end off game one. Empire now leading 1-0. And the Aquadome, they can make it 2. Again, the last time they played letdowns, they swept them. That was not on the stream. I could not tell you anything about that series, but... Definitely seems like it could happen again and in the playoffs. It's either, it's usually, usually a lot of times in the playoffs with a lot of teams that are used to the pressure, who are, look comfortable. I just dominate even more against the teams that they beat before because they know that playstyle. But nerves again can play a fact. This is the end of the gaming league. No one here is a professional. And it really is one of the most nerve-wracking things a player can really experience. Are these playoff moments when so many weeks of hard work and dedication against so many other tough teams finally comes to a must-win situation. And now in round one, again, Don Empire might feel that they've been robbed out of out of the top three. Again, the, that match that we saw them play against earlier against the... We are watched uh, on the stream a couple uh, days ago, I believe. They didn't even play up their full roster, I believe. I believe they played with a sub. I even said that now with the full roster here. He's he's more than ready to take his chances. Looking cross for Killstar, but Killstar is only going back for boost. But a double commit here. Killstar's shot will find the net. Boner can't save it, and Boner now. Second game in a row, he's jumped. Second game in a row, where it's not Poner. Actually, it was Poner who got booted last game, but in this game, letdowns have had a couple double commits, a couple play places where... You think that that wasn't the right option, that they went all in for those challenges. And they seem to have these issues where that second man gets too antsy, too nervous, just wants to get rid of the ball. Possession is the is the aim of the game here. And especially not double committing is a really big, a big importance here of keeping possess of keeping that uh, game plan running. Mike chase down by Killstar. And that allows Ice Demon to clear it, get an opportunity on Poner. Eternal Empire. To bring it out, but can't do so. Here comes Poner. Poner's shot is good! And letdowns tie it up 1-1. As Ice Demon, his back pass didn't go anywhere. There's no power on it, and Poner's given free range to shoot wherever he wants to, wherever he wants to. And letdowns after six and a, almost six and a half minutes of total gameplay, they get their first goal of the series. Total Empire. Reliant on Killstar so far this series to get the goals. This game plan may not be the best be in their best interest because once Killstar is uh, taken out, once he has started once he has shut down by the other team, does Ice Demon come in? What does he what does he provide in the shooting? He, he averages, I believe, like over a goal a game, which is quite impressive actually. 
And coming into the playoffs, he's going to need to unleash his shooting ability because if they rely too heavily on Killstar, it gives letdowns a very easy out on defense. You know, although Killstar's shooting has been immaculate so far this season, we need to see if Ice Demon can make this life a little bit easier for him, let him have a little less work. But Killstar is still happy to get this one clear. Mike on the back wall, on the backfield. He's it off the corner. It's awkward. He doesn't have a lot of boost. He's going to retreat back. Nice Demon off the back wall. In for Killstar. And that's how you get involved on offense if you're Ice, if you're, uh, ice Demon. An assist. While it's not a goal, being able to be a threat on offense, important. And he gives Killstar a dime to put in the back of the net. And now halfway through game two. Eternal Empire leading by one with two goals to one. They can make it free here with Killstar, and he's going to get a third. He had three goals last game. Now he makes it free this game, and we still have two minutes, 26 seconds of remaining. This lead now getting bigger. Eternal Empire trying to be the first team so far this on the stream during the playoffs to win by being... Uh, win. As, as well, uh, win along with being the favorites. As now Killstar puts in another goal. He will not let up. Well, it's no ceiling shot. Every goal means the exact same. Even if it's a dinky flick like that one. Still counts for a single goal. As I was saying, again, so far we've had two playoff matches so far this stream. Both, and both times the underdog won. And now a lot of you might be saying, well, the Crimson Meteorites match wasn't really, there was no real underdog, but last, again, the last time those two teams played, uh, Meteorites lost, so they were the actual tactical underdogs in that one. Uh, when it came to head-to-head. -to -head, when it came to seeding, I would have to check on that. I actually do not do not know. But I believe they were still the underdogs, even in seeding. Call foul and kills, so I give him a red card. What for? <laughs> it's Rocket League, my man. It has more similarities to, to ice hockey, and in ice hockey, there are penalties, but, like, you can also just hit someone. <laughs> So, in a way, it compared more like ice hockey, where hitting people is fine. It's the only place where that's kind of, where hitting people is legal. Never thought I'd ever say that on this stream, and here comes Ice Demon shot. It's off target. Follow up from him. Still can't find the net, and Ice Demon still goalless so far this series, even though his team now has seven goals to their name. Uh, but also, even if those goals come from Killstar, can Ice Demon put in an, an 8 in, in his name? Cannot yet, Killstar. And now putting more pressure on the letdowns as Total Empire putting in some uh, extremely smart midfield challenges, trying to dunk out the play. Letdowns. Having to work to get rid of this pressure. And with so little time remaining. Every play they create here has to work for them. Or so it seems, anyways. Poner up to himself. The can't get it over, and here comes Mike. He can't read it himself. He didn't have a lot of boost to start off with, but that's only going to make things worse when he overshoots the jump. Total Empire just continues their lead by a free goal. It was very similar to the last game. Last game they won 3-0. This time they're winning 4-1. Free goal leads in both. And letdowns. It must be a bit infuriating for them because no matter what play they bring, it just doesn't seem to work. And it's been really tough for them to even break out. When unless even get a goal. They've already gotten they've only gotten one this so far this series. That's not enough. Eternal Empire now poised to sweep the letdowns out of the tournaments and out of the bracket. That it will end game two. And I'm taking a look at the meteorites. Yeah, Crimson was actually the favorite in that. I was right. That's cool. Anyways, I just took a look at a, <laughs> at a bracket. But again, anyone wondering, winner of this will go on to play the winner of Midnight Black Yeehaw Showtime. Gonna pause this for the Empire. Come <laughs> <It's> order 66. How much does Empire pay the servers? What? The servers haven't been that kind. 60, I mean, actually, the servers haven't been kind to anyone, really. 
60 ping is not a great low ping. But anyways. We got a game three. And you guys can complete can, and uh, continue to talk about whatever sort of death order you're going to give to people. I mean, there's someone named Killstar. Unlimited power. <laughs> I didn't sound like him. Who did I sound like? I sound like a freaking, like, I don't know. I sound like some... Unlimited power. Yeah. And there we go. That's actually a little better. Anyways. We got a game three. <laughs> on that note, let's start the game three on Dave H Stadium. This could end the letdown season in the, in, in the same fashion they lost to the Eternal Empire team earlier in the tournament. Do it. <laughs> I can do that one better. Do it. Do it. Do, do. do it. Do it. And he does. Boner's gonna score. <laughs> As a little resistance here from defense, Ice Demon turned away from the prelay and then turned back for all, no reason. It seems like Ice Demon uh, forgot which way his was his left and right. He should not have turned back, in fact. Should have kept going, should have turned right there to stay closer to the play. As now letdowns are given their first lead of the series. Can they make something of it? Well, there's a chance for them. Poner is off target, but again... Being able to get those touches over other players is just all that he needs in that situation to put Eternal Empire in a tougher situation. Killstar off the side. Well, he can follow this too and going to clear it long. Poner needs to collect this one. He backflips it. Killstar off the back wall. Second touch is possible, but doesn't jump up in time for it. Poner now to beat out both. Taking it to the corner, looking in field and demoed away by Killstar. Doing exactly what his name said. Mike, though... And Ice Demon once again caught up in his own mistakes. Mike's going to score from this, and Ice Demon once again turning the wrong way, turning right instead of left. He should be turning left in that situation and stay closer to the play. It seems like Ice Demon forgetting which way to turn. Maybe his controller's backwards. Uh, as he's now again turning the wrong direction when he should be staying closer to the play. He's turning where he's turning away from the play, only making things dif more difficult for his team. And now that pass. Poner will score. Mike with the assist. As Mike, instead of shooting, going to give it to Poner. Poner can shoot from point blank range. And Eternal Empire are completely silent in this game. They have done nothing to stop this offense. And Eternal Empire now needs to find a way to get back. Three goals, very difficult to do so. But, they, but they've been able to score three goals in game one, four in game two. But that was when they were in the lead. That was when the letdowns were out. And they do it now that when they are on the line. Mike. The side wall. He can get another touch out. Killstar is there. But Killstar is going to get away get, get away with a, a challenge. Poner. Keeping it nice, Demon. Infield for Killstar. He doesn't get it. Poner. Once again, faster than the challenge on defense. And once again... Clearing the ball to safety. This shot from Mike, though, is going to be saved over a kill star. This one also travels past Poner to his own back corner. Ice Demon. Cleared around. Mike cannot read it. Ice Demon in. And there's a demo in the midfield from Poner. But Ice Demon still standing and now scoring a goal. When the team needed someone to step up, we haven't had set him all that much for offensive abilities in this series. But now, with his first goal in the series, it's a, it's one that can start a comeback. He'll start. Not a strong clear. Had to flip out with it, sort of just used his nose to get contact. Ice Demon can clear this one past Mike. Kill star to keep going with it. But Ice Demon still electing to go for it himself. He doesn't get a very good... Challenge there trying to dribble it out. Mike in for Poner. Poner doesn't read it. Here comes Mike. But Killstar gets rid of the pressure. As hello, Opal. Welcome, man. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys. What day, are we, what day are you guys playing? Actually, I have like five matches every single uh, every uh, for, on Saturday on Sunday. What day are you guys? You guys Saturday, I believe? Or are you Sunday? What's funny is I have a team known as Team Opal playing as well, so... But yeah, you're not on Team Opal. Um, Ice Demon trying to get over one defender. Can't do so. Poner clearing it past Killstar. And Poner has the boost. Has the goal. Saturday. Thank you. 
Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, man. We'll see you on Saturday. In fact, I want to say, uh, if everybody wants to see Opal play, because I'm going to take a look. I believe you're the 7 p.m. match? No, you're not. You're in the Midnight Gaming Red, Red Team that's playing at 8.30. I should have done that actually after the game. Anyways, mistakes whatever. Uh, as an Empire now looking for a goal to once again make this only two, and I steam into the liver. Yeah, I know. I got, yeah, I got your game at 8.30, Opal. With the uh, Ajax as well in there. Against, uh, what, Hex? You're playing against Hex Gaming? Give me a fun match, actually. Yes. Yes, who? Are you cheering on... Uh, is one of your friends playing? Ice Demon. Trying to get across. He does. Just, uh, uh, are you super happy about it, Opal? That you have... That my, uh, I'm casting your match. What's the yes for? Or are you just doing like your best, uh, most critical impersonation? Yeah, baby, let's go. Anyways, um, this kill starts trying to clear it long. Poner's shot is off target, and the Tunnel Empire needs to clear this. That one from Killstar had it been on target, would have actually been a goal, but pretty tough to aim from there. As I will say, Rox Roxellos, just a leer, man. Uh, I don't know if I said this earlier, but thank you for the follow earlier in the stream. Welcome, man. Thank you for joining the sportiest stream. As again, we're still watching this series unfold. And letdowns, if they're able to hold up, could get one game back. Yeah, I'm happy you're casting my match. It's always an honor. Well, it's an honor to have you, Opal. Ajax is a pretty nice guy. And that goal from Mike could be the ones that ended here. 51 seconds remaining. The Sun Empire has never really been able to make any real momentum for themselves. They've been able to score twice when down, but every single time they've not been able to keep, to keep that run going. Letdowns look like they're going to take at least one game back. Yeah, he's a very good person. Yeah, he is. He is a very nice guy. Although I still have... Oh, what a demo. Although I still disagree with him on the whole decision with the controller at Worlds. I believe that the decision was the right one, even if it sucked. There's no actually right decision in that situation. But anyways, I disagree with him on that whole decision thing. But anyways, I still like him. He's a nice guy. Uh, but... Even if he is wrong on on some of his opinions. Um, as for to win, Mike off the back wall. Poner can't read it. Killstar will clear it away. And demo out Mike as well. Maybe they can get a goal in field. Move for a pass into Ice Demon. Couldn't get it. And yeah, that is one game down with the Empire. As Chad has now decided to coin that, that, that phrase. <laughs> Letdowns. Still need three more. Three more, two more. It's not a best of seven. It's it's a best of five. It's only two more games. As now with that with letdowns, maybe it may have generated some momentum for themselves. We go immediately to Yotopia Calls the end because of how long it took to start off the stream. Hopefully, the match after this doesn't have to be delayed too much. That down still need to win another game. They forced game five. This is a good start though in game three. And you know. Series still underway. As this one now. Game four. Once again, Eternal Empire still can end the series here, but they're gonna need to pr they're gonna need to prove a little better at the start of these series. They lost as soon as those three first those first three goals came in. It would be very difficult for Eternal Empire to come back. Kind of felt like they just deflated a little bit there. Can they come back in Game Four and win the series, or uh, do the letdowns force a reverse sweep situation? Owner oh, no shot, a good one. Killstar doesn't read it. Oh, but it bounces so favorably off of, off the corner there. We got a buy match. You in quarters? Man, I must be. No, no, the match that you have tomorrow is not. Is it? It's not. Isn't it? It's not two v two. It's a three v three match. It's midnight red three v three. 
It's not the 2v2. It's not a 2v2 that we're casting tomorrow. It's a 3v3. Nice demon. Got past one. Flick and feel. Poners to clear it. Right, Opal? I'm not, like, tripping on anything? Talking about twos. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to, to, to what you were talking about with twos. I thought you were talking about the threes team playing tomorrow. Maybe I'll be real honest. I didn't even know you had a twos team. As Ice Demon here, for his twos team, is going to score first for the Eternal Empire team. And I will say, I do like that their uh, acronym is EEE. -E -E. <laughs> Eternal Empire. Imagine you have, like, Pacific Ocean, where all the seas are all different. But anyways... Eternal Empire. Anyways. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the E-Team. <laughs> it's the Rush E-Team. As Killstar trying to flick in field. Both of the letdowns sitting back. Letting this one drop a little more favorably for them. They know that Eternal Empire isn't going to risk sending two people into the corner. And so they can wait for it. Although Eternal Empire could have actually challenged two people in that corner. Could have won that challenge too, but... Would have, had to, would have been a risk to do that. And they're not willing to take those risks right now. As Ice Demon... Oh, just jumps on in. He has no faith in the abilities of letdowns and catches Poner completely by surprise. And he just immediately challenges, decides that there's absolutely no loss there. Even if there, even if he does make a mistake challenging for that one, he has that teammate behind him to save him. But that challenge works for him. Till Empire up by two. And now can they lead by three at the start of this series? It's been Killstar to start really make the, the ball go, make the ball roll. That's Ice Demon who's trying to do the cleanup in this series. As so far, I don't. The last time Killstar had a goal was, I believe, in Game Two or at the very start of Game Three. It's been Ice Demon scoring for them so far in the series. As Killstar clears away, it's off the corner. It's going to bounce in field. Poner doesn't read it. Mike has to come back and help him. The Empire. Trying to find one more goal to make this one out of reach so far. As, as soon as that one team has gotten a free goal lead, the other team's been able to come back from that. But where that three goal lead will come from, Letdowns doesn't want to ask. They're not they're not here for that three goal lead. They're here to come back. They're only two goals down as well. Come back is possible as Poner up for this. Second touch! Oh, it's saved away by Killstar. Mike coming in to keep it in field. And that touch is gonna force. Eternal Empire to have to play more defense, use more boost. There can't be much left in that tank of theirs. The letdowns, a miss there, and they also give away that corner boost. Eternal Empires can use it. As Ice Demon's the one to pick it up. I'm gonna rely on Killstar to get this clear. And Killstar, how much boost does he have in there? It feels like he's had about 500 in, 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 with it. That's how we I mean, must have been doing some really good boost pad tracking, or just picking up the full boost just outside of our camera angle. Nice demon clear. Can't get, get past Mike, and Mike can dribble control. This killstar is going to wait for him, challenge him, hit it to the right side wall. Nice demon coming in. Off the back wall. Could get a second one, can't find it, and the one Mike gets past Killstar too. Chance for letdowns. Mike downfield. Ice demon needs to cut infield. Mike's just completely off target. Should have put a shot on net there. How about letdowns too? At late in this game, but. Now, still goalless in game four. Poner infield past the mic, overshoots his target, and now Ice Demon can 50 50 it away. Put in his chances, and Eternal Empire. Game three, again, it looked like they were a bit sloppy in game three. They, did, they let up a lot of shots and goals go in, but now in game four, holding up on defense with that save from Ice Demon. Could turn it the other way and give Eternal Empire some another opportunity to just end this series once and for all. One more goal will surely do it. Feel sorry, bumped away by Ice Demon. Double commit though. Poner. And he doesn't corral the ball the right direction. Now he needs to look for an infield pass. But that doesn't work out either. Letdowns in the final seconds of game four. Thinking about the what ifs. With that goal going in. No chances left for letdowns. They have now lost two times to the Tunnel Empire. Tunnel Empire proving that in this specific head to head, they are the better roster.
And with the final seconds ticking on by, Tunnel Empire will progress further into the playoff bracket. They prove they are truly a top contender. As yes, Ice Demon, a massive, a massive shout out to him in this game. Really, three goals. He's been taking. He took Killstar's role and decided that it would be for himself. And that will end off the season for Letdowns. A Frio win for Eternal Empire. We'll start off their season favorably. Again. And again, what, a, what an interesting series that is. Again, that's only the first of three series tonight. So in just about 10 minutes, we're going to have Commitment Issues versus Zero Gravity, which is another 2v2. And that one's going to be interesting for you guys to see. And that will be a Tier 2, actually. Then we'll end off with a three, Tier 3, 53 between Full Boost, Bandini Boys, as Hello Ter Terran, Worst Trace, Hel and hey, welcome to the Spodius stream. What a mouthful. I, I, I almost fumbled your name there, my bad on that. But it was all okay. We are going to get an interview with the players. We're going to get an interview with, I believe, Ice Demon coming in from the Eternal Empire team. See you next week. Hey, don't... What the heck? Guys, that's going to be like a running joke, and I don't like it. Um, as, while that's happening, I'm actually going to make sure I get all my graphics ready for next series. Again, it's commitment issue zero gravity. This is a literal one seed versus a literal 16 seed, so it'd be a fun series, honestly. As I'm also going to change up the stream title. Make sure that it also fits and makes sense. And again, this, we're doing this all tier 2 2v. Welcome, Ice Demon, to the voice, to the interview. How are you doing? How, how are you feeling after that win? You're rather ecstatic, especially after way last week when. Hey, you guys, you know, you beat them, you beat them before, and now you beat them again. You, can you confidently say you are truly the, the true fourth seed in this bracket? Uh, truthfully, uh, I believe that we should be higher. Uh, last week was a bad week. I really feel like we got the uh, number one seed team here. And I'm looking forward to proving it. Well, that's a, that, is a, that is a lot of confidence from you guys. And just knowing that confidence... Will that confidence be able to carry you throughout this bracket? Because you guys, again, it, it, you have your, you've had your ups and downs, and it seems like uh, it seems like you have had series, uh, even on this channel, when we saw you guys play against uh, We Are Washed, who have not lost anyone, by the way. But when you lost, played We Are Washed, you guys got washed uh, out, and uh, I mean, now that you're coming in with this confidence, what is it that keeps you guys going? Well, really and truly, it's just teamwork and being able to communicate with one another and work out the issues and see what the other team's doing and being able to overcome. Love that confidence from you guys. I really do. I really do. And knowing that you guys are going, now you guys are going in further. What, what can you, what can you say to anybody doubting you guys? A lot of, there's a lot of people who, who may have seen that match against with you guys last week against we were watching think that, the, that you guys don't even deserve to make it into this top eight now that you've made it here do you have anything to say to anyone going further and further into the bracket um eternal empire is here to take it love it planning to do so of course great confidence as well thank you so much for joining for a, probably the shortest interview we've ever had on this on this channel but that's because we got another match coming up before we do that though is there anyone you'd like to shout out uh before we unfortunately have to kick you out of the voice call um, my partner Killstar and my other partner Cookie Crisp. Um, both of them have, we play well together and 
it's just been great. It's been a good season. Love that. I love it. Again, hopefully we'll see you guys in your next couple matches. I, I've had, a, I've had a, a fun time casting you guys, and you guys are making quite the run. Appreciate it. Of course. I was Ice Demon of the Turtle Empire team who just took a 3-1 win against Letdowns. That's, but we have two more matches, and they're both expected to be fun matches here. We have our next match, Zero Gravity versus Commitment Issues. Coming up right here, right now, here now, ha <laughs> on the stream. Just saw Ryder Labs chat chatting in. It seems like he is relatively not. He is not confident. We, we saw him. We saw, I saw him say earlier that he was playing with his sub tonight. So it seems like he is not confident on his team's ability. And to be fair, they have played commitment issues before. Commitment issues have not lost yet this season, and that includes a win, I believe, in like either week one or week two against Zero Gravity. Commitment issues. The 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 obvious first seed in their brackets. Again, they did play against... No, they, they played against Zero Gravity Week 3. They swept them, actually. This was not on stream, by the way. But we did see them as they uh, actually reverse swept Fortnite players in Week 1. But other than that, a couple good series from them. Zero Gravity, though, it's been a very, very tough season for them. They're currently 1-5. in five. A pretty terrible end. To, it's a pretty terrible season for them. They are hoping that this playoff bracket can change things around. Again, this is the same record the letdowns had. Again, for them, it's it's a it's been about as tough as it can be, but they know they have what it takes to come back. The, the 15th seed, the last team, the last team in their last place team in their bracket. As both these teams have played Fortnite players before, Zero Gravity lost. Commitment issues won. And we talked about commitment issues just sweeping over Zero Gravity, and it's again, it's been a tough season for. These teams, it's not been anything easy, and commitment issues have been able to come out the much, much stronger team. But will that stay true? I want to hear what you guys think. Should, tell me down below who you think will win. Commitment issues or zero gravity? On one hand, you have commitment issues. They haven't lost yet, and they're the number one, they're the, actually the number two team. They're not the number one seed. They're the number two seed. They're the number one seed in this current part of the bracket. Or the number two seed in their bracket. The number one seed actually got a buy. Uh, but they are, again, the clear number two seed. On the other side, though, again, a couple upsets we've seen so far, or even some that you might think are a bit unbelievable. If this would have become an upset, be the most unbelievable out of any upset we've seen so far. And as again, Zero Gravity, it seems like they might be having issues. Have a, have a good night. Thank you, Opal. You too. Have an amazing night. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, hopefully, again, this is going to be a fun series. Again, we take a look at the webpage viewer. And here it is. Again, Falling Sky Midnight got the buy. As there's no 16th place team in their division. But this is your clear number two. I think it's the number 15, Zero Gravity. And now the question really is, what do we see out of Zero Gravity coming into the playoffs against commitment issues? They need to change things around. They got swept the last time they played them. They cannot allow that to happen again. Well, that's happening again. Stats not uh, in favor of Zero Gravity either. In fact, they're even losing on the saves per game. Usually teams low in the bracket have a really good save per game per, uh, average, and that's true for Zero Gravity with 3.33, but commitment issues have 3.55 saves per game average. And a good way to always see how, a comp how good a team is is their assists per game. How well do they work together? Well, it's currently a .6 assist difference, which is pretty massive at this division. And Zero Gravity are now needing a what you could what you could confidently call a miracle to get themselves back in. Zinfo has been sent up to both teams. Make sure that they are ready. We are hearing that they are ha that there is some issues that one of the teams might actually be falling 10 to 20 minutes late. So. We are hoping that we can get that on stream soon enough. It also means I'm probably going to tell the team afterwards. We could be starting a little bit late, but to be fair, last series started 10 to 15 minutes late. 10 to 20 minutes late. It's actually started about, about 18 minutes late, so this series could too. We'll just have to make sure we go through it relative quick, uh, quick, at a relatively quick pace. I wonder if this goes on to 
play the winner vibe try and charged up i will actually check and see if there actually if actually someone has actually won from either of those two teams And it turns out, no, we have actually not gotten a result from that. Between Vibe Tribe or Charged Up. And as I guess I could also tell you guys a fun story. I actually played against some of the Commitment Issues players uh, recently. If I'm able to find, I have a picture of it, I have a screenshot. I actually played them in a tournament. It was a random tournament, but I played them in a tournament and I actually beat them. <laughs> So that's fun to talk about, huh? Yeah, here it is. So there you go. It was a random tournament. We were in completely. I was on a completely random team. I actually don't know any of those guys, but play against them. They were there together. And as you can see, Skoy, as nice as he always is. See you Friday. Yeah, I got to play them. I actually, I actually, I actually beat him. I scored three goals on them. It was not very close. Uh, but it was, it was a fun. Uh, I must say, it was a really fun time. Uh, for me at least, because I beat them. <laughs> Does this one work as well? Yeah. Take a look at the chat up here. Hello. See, there you are. Yeah, we had some fun with these guys. Anyways, we I beat them before. On, I beat them before. It was not on stream. It was I don't play Rocket League on stream. But there you go. I did beat these guys before. As a follow coming in from Lucky. Lucky's not soil. Welcome to this 40th stream. How's your night been going so far? We're just currently waiting to make sure that Command Issues and Zero Gravity can get in. They are both teams are running a uh, both teams are saying they're running a little bit late. But waiting for them to join. Hopefully everybody's having an amazing evening. As again, we are waiting for these teams. Commitment issues the current number two seeded team. So gravity the number fifteen. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna delete the current prediction and we'll wait until we get to around like nine oh five or something to make it happen. Just because again, this series is running a little bit late. What's funny is last series also started up, also ended a bit late, so I'm just gonna be waiting for make sure that both teams are ready. I'm just gonna be here chatting with you got with you all. I don't wanna leave you guys. And again, we'll be ending this off with a tier three three v three between uh two teams that you may have heard of. One of those teams is full boost. The other, the Bandini Boys, and I would assume more people actually know who the Bandini Boys are, because they're led by Mean Marine 14, who is an IGL caster. And a pretty good one at that as well. Then we are making sure that we can get both teams in here. I do apologize for playing late again. We are heard, heard that it is going to be delayed. We're not currently having any issues at the moment. In fact, we'll go to the head to head. Here it is. Hi, guys. Do I look cool? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. You guys have any like fun like game or stuff that you want me to do?
Again, we're just waiting for these teams. Hopefully, you guys all around are not getting too bored. Sadly, I don't. There's nothing I can really do to help you to help speed up this process. I could, I, I guess I could, uh, help with the. I guess I could get the logos ready for a series after this one. Again, full boost, and Bandini boys. Well, we'll make sure they get this started as soon as we possibly can. Main issue zero gravity, and a lot of people will know zero gravity as being the first org I actually was a part of. In fact, I was on the two v two team with. Uh, I was on the first iteration of the two v two team was on zero gravity. I was the captain, and uh, that was a historical season for zero gravity. The first ever tournament win, a ten and zero season for the two v two team. It was an am amazing season with the Rattle Labs. Also, I had a player on there named Peak, who was our coach. He never got the play, but he was always there with us every single game. So huge shout outs to Rattle Labs and Peak if they're watching. Amazing people. I still talk to them sometimes. Uh, but after that, then the uh, then their I believe their their base team, their tier four team, then won. So the season after, so so we got to be kind of on a hot streak here when it comes to tournaments so far. Last two uh, cir circuits, they've won at least one tournament. Well, actually, they've only won one tournament in, in in both of them. Again, just making sure that these teams are okay with everything that's going on. I would hate to miss anything. Tim's getting back from work, so we should be on semi soon. Sorry about the wait. No problem, Murado Labs. Here, I hear. I, yeah, I, I asked the uh, Squay about the issue as well. It seems like you guys are. Is just work and stuff? That makes sense. Uh, but again, let me know whenever you guys are ready. Send me a direct message. And I can actually start. And I can get the game ready. I have sent you and Squay the info. And so, make sure to use it. Uh, and, and again, let me know whenever you do. You, whenever everybody's back and whenever you're in the lobby, uh, there, Murado. Again, after this will be a our final uh, our final series of the night will be but we'll, full of boost bandini boys again. Mean Marine will be playing. And we're actually gonna take a look at that hit play by play while, while we're waiting for this one. Mean Marine and Kill Ace, Saucy McBuckets, Pineapple Pounder will be playing against Chantazer, Okenchi, Dusty Buns, and IndyCar Champion. But now we gotta focus on the uh, commitment issues zero gravity match. In this one playoff implications here. It's a very simple playoff bracket, really, in single elimination. The only weird part is when you get to the semifinals, because if you lose that, there is a third place match. Kind of, kind, kind of reminds me of like a best of set where you like when you get to the best of set situation, you kind of get an extra life. Same thing goes there, but obviously you're playing for third place, so it's not as big of an extra life. Again, it's a Again, a series that these two teams need to play well, and it doesn't matter how well you play, how well or how badly you play in the regular season if you don't get wins at this point. And I know uh, commitment issues are going to take, uh, and zero gravity are both going to take it to heart because again, huge difference here. Commitment issues are six and zero, oh, zero gravity one and five, and zero gravity also with the I, be I believe the worst game win percent game win percentage as well. One of five, a twenty-four percent game win percentage. That's, I believe, that actually might be the worst in their division. And again, that makes sense for them being the last place team. Yeah, and commitment issues. The top, the sec, the number two team when it comes to win percentage. Obviously, that makes sense. They're six and zero. They're at an eighty-two percent. The only team above them is Falling Sky Midnight, who is ninety-four percent. They only lost a single game to one team, and that team was. Militia Pro White. Who is not even playing anymore, I don't believe. But Falling Sky Midnight. That team at the number one spot, they're going to be the scary one to look at.
We were tier two level until recently. I do know that about lives. We were tier three and then you were tier three again and now now you're tier two. Uh I mean you're also like G C now in two, so you definitely are tier two. Uh and you're also a lot better than I am. I suck at Rock League. I don't play that much anymore. Wish I played this game a lot more, but I do not. I don't play this game as much as I used to. Which is weird, because I'm also LFT. So I'm trying to play more. It's not easy, man. I know, I feel old. Is that weird? But I kind of feel old. And I guess, to, I mean, to be fair, I guess 2k hours is a, is a good, is a lot of time in one game. Anyways, we're just, again, we're waiting for, waiting for both these teams to give the go-ahead. You got 3k hours now. I know you do a lot more than I do at Labs. Remember, <laughs> the thing is, I'm a caster. You're not. In fact, I actually don't know how many hours I have. I could actually have to, I could actually check that now. I'm going to go to Epic, see how many hours I have in total, and see how many hours I actually have. I, I, it's probably a lot less than you, though, because I don't play this game that much anymore. But I'm going to check how many hours I have on Epic Games. Library. Rocket League. I cannot check. I'll have to tell you guys afterwards, but I know it's it's well over 2,000 now. It might even be closer to 3K, but I don't remember. It's probably not that close to 3K, in all honesty. But uh, a lot of my hours now are being spent with uh, casting and stuff, which is fine for me. I actually don't mind it. I'm, I, think, I think I'm doing pretty well at it. Speaking of casting, if, uh, here comes the fun part, I think, uh, when it comes to a lot of this. We're just, again, kind of waiting. It's not really fun, but I get to talk to you guys about... Announcements and stuff, as well as, I want to say a big, again, I want to say a, a big uh, thing here again. If any of you guys, I, I know you guys may have, may have seen some pretty fun uh, clips so far today, but yes, but you guys can get your clips casted now in the, in the gaming league. Ooh, how cool. I know. And you can get them casted by me, by yours truly, as well. Cool. Who knew? Uh, how, how cool is that? And to do that, use that link that I just sent down below to get your clips casted. It supports Metal, GIF Your Game, and Twitch.tv. And all those clips, send them to me, and I will cast them for you guys. Within, I believe it's, I believe it's within two days is, is, the rec is the requirement. So I'll get it done to you guys within two days of you guys sending it. As long as I'm not, like, super busy. There you guys go. And just me, and the thing with the clips that's best, they don't even have to be like insane clips. They could be whatever clip you want to send in there. They can work in there. So make sure to get me to cast your clips. That uh, the your ranked team has given me this opportunity to cast your clips, and make sure to not waste it. Because the more time you take to send over those clips, the less monster's going to be. And if you and if you and if you feel like I'm not the best person to cast your clips. And there's so many other people. You can get outcasted by, by famous content creators and other community casters. So don't. So go, go check out the Beyond Rank clip casting program. I'm sure you guys will absolutely love it. Now with that uh, done. That's the end game. Oh, the name's actually too small. Interesting. There you go. In game one, I'm gonna go in game. And I'm just gonna see what the end games look like. Man, all my font in this thing is kind of small. I'm not joking. There we go. Well, that looks a little bit better. I'm just making sure that the teams. Do get here. Actually, I'm actually going to run the prediction poll right now. Because I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to start very soon. It's not like I know anything. 
It's just a gut feeling. But there you go. There goes the prediction poll. What's happening? I'm going to get a clip. I'm going to get a, a bit of a drink of water here. There you go. Yeah, we're just waiting a little bit, seeing... Because, again, his teammate is... Again, his teammate is being held up. It is actually Sam who's being held up a little late at work. So we're making sure that everybody gets here, because, honestly, that would be kind of unfair if uh, we'd have to call out a forfeit. So, uh, again, our commitment issues is given Zero Gravity as much time as they need to get their match sorted out and ready. And hopefully we can get ourselves uh, started soon. Meaning that we're probably not going to have any breaks during this broadcast. It's literally going to be three hours straight. And I'm not against that. I don't mind it. Perfectly fine with me. Yeah, hopefully any of you still around, make sure you vote for who you think will win. And make sure to support your, the team that you want to win with the poll down in the chat. I see someone's voting in there. Oh, Sharklizer's here. Hello there, Sharklizer. By the way, we're going to run a quick one-minute ad right now, just because I can. And also just so I can take a short break. I'll be right back after like about a minute of a break. Yeah, by the way, hello, Chocolizer. It's nice to see you. everyone welcome back sad news here it turns out that the match between zero gravity commitment issues actually is going to be pushed back a lot further than we have previously expected meaning that the stream's actually going to end here and the match might be on the stream later tonight i'm so sorry to say that we just got news that the wait is going to be a lot longer again as a lot longer than the 20 minutes we expected so 
we're probably gonna end the stream here and get another and get another one set up at at uh, in about uh, thirty minutes for the match after this. But again, I'm so sorry about that. We'll end the stream here. We'll throw in a quick raid to someone who is currently uh, a quick raid to someone. And then after this, we'll be back. I'll give you guys more info uh, on my Twitter about if the match will go on or not. Again, I do apologize for that, as, again, we were, did just get confirmation here on that. Yeah, I'm making sure that we can find someone to raid through Twitch She's playing Rocket League. We're just going to find some small Rocket League streamer. Who do I support? Who should I raid that's playing Rocket League? We could raid Big Lando, actually. Let's raid Big Lando. That's a somewhat big streamer, but not too big. Also, because I know who I also know who McLando is. He's a nice guy. We'll raid McLando. Sorry about that. We'll be back up though with the next match, which is full boost and uh, full boost and the Bandini boys. <laughs>